I wondered if there's some secret sauce behind gaining muscle mass and strength. Maybe there's something that we don't completely understand and you want to know what that is specifically that you can train so that you can get a little bit stronger. If so, stay tuned. What's up everybody, I'm Dane from Garage Strength and I wanna cover everything behind one of the secret sauces that can get you a whole bunch of muscle mass and a ton of strength. And what is that? That is the comprehension of satellite cells. And so one of the things that I've done over the last decade is spent a decent amount of my time understanding physiology and understanding research and, and what uh, satellite cells are and how they how they are understood and how they can improve strength. So to start off right away, what is a satellite cell? So a satellite cell is a is a cell that lives just outside of a of a myofiber. So if we can have a if we draw the myofiber here, okay, this is the sarcolemma, and right here outside of this is where we're going to have the satellite cells existing. So they're in this quiescent state. Um, just outside the, the sarcolemma, right underneath the basal lamina. And there's a, there's a professor named Peter Zamet, and we're gonna put the Peter Zamet um, model of a muscle cell right here so that you can see what we're talking about. You can see that satellite cell, you can understand what the basal lamina is, and you can understand what that sarcolemma is, because this is stuff that typically is not being taught within schools. Okay, so this cell lives just outside of that myofiber and it's, it's in a reserve, it's, it's quiescent. So we, throughout time, throughout our development in our youth period, our body is distinguishing what physical attributes it needs to prepare for and what adaptations it needs to prepare for in the future for the rest of your life. So it develops this reserve of satellite cells that it can tap into throughout the rest of your life after you go through puberty and so that you can continue to increase strength and adapt to the outside world and, and the outside uh, stimulus. And that's one of the big key factors that we have to understand behind satellite cells is that to use satellite cells and to, to adapt with satellite cells, we have to stimulate them. And that goes into understanding that uh, muscle fiber and muscle mass is post mitotic. So that means um, for, for muscle mass to adapt, it's got to be stimulated and we can stimulate um, adaptation through lifting weights or, or utilizing mechanical load. So through uh, plyometric work or resistance training, any type of resistance training, and that's going to lead to muscular uh, damage, which can then, once we have muscular damage, and this is something that's pretty interesting going on right now in the research world regarding satellite cells, is that we don't fully understand if the muscle is damaged and then the body through different pathways communicates to satellite cells to come in uh, to, the, to the myofiber to heal and, and, and renovate that, that muscle fiber, or if the satellite cell actually senses what's going on and communicates to the muscle cell that it's going to uh, cross over the sarcolemma and try to, to renovate that, that myofiber. And so what ends up happening is we lift weights, the muscle fibers are damaged, and because the muscle fibers are damaged, it's communicated to or the satellite cell senses, and the satellite cell becomes activated, and then the satellite cells begin to proliferate and renovate that myofiber that uh, and regenerate that, that fiber. How does that work is, is there's a couple question marks, but we 100% do know that by increasing multiple pathways, um, we, can, we can activate the, the satellite cell. And so if we understand that through activation, through increasing uh, various hormones in, in, you know, if we can think about IGF-1, and if you want to dive deeper into the hormone activation, head down and you can click on the, the link that has all the videos related to hormones and how hormones can stimulate strength and muscle mass. But we know that testosterone, we know that IGF-1 can communicate to the satellite cells and it might uh, increase relaxing, which decreases uh, and downregulates myostatin. And when myostatin is downregulated, now the satellite cells cross over that cell membrane, which is known as chemotaxis. Okay, so this these methods of activation might be from, we understand that if we're doing six to 10 sets of 
doubles, triples, sets of four, that we can stimulate a higher level of testosterone, we can stimulate IGF-1, and now all of a sudden, we can stimulate those satellite cells to renovate that, that myofiber. And ultimately, that, new, that newly renovated myofiber, the big key here is that there's myonuclei inside those satellite cells. So the satellite cells have nuclei that has the mRNA, it has, it has a genetic coding that then is donated to that myofiber. And we have seen, um, research has shown us that over time, undergoing resistance training, we can see um, more nuclei within a myofiber. So we know that these satellite cells are donating their, their genetic coding to the myofiber to renovate it and to ultimately make it a bit stronger. And so over time, the, the biggest thing here is this is one of the main factors behind myofibrillar hypertrophy. And if you click on the link down below, you can check out all of that information around myofibrillar hypertrophy. But the biggest factor comes in is that how can we stimulate satellite cells so that we can increase strength and increase myofibrillar density and bring in more nuclei. And the, the most important aspect behind uh, the donated myonuclei is that now, if we undergo a catastrophic event or uh, from a physiological perspective, we're injured, now we understand that there's more nuclei within that myofiber, within the muscle fibers, okay? And then if there's atrophy that does occur and the muscle, the muscle fiber decreases in size, the donated nuclei is responsible for muscle memory. Okay, so that's where that muscle memory term comes from is that now we know there's more nuclei in there that doesn't undergo apoptosis, which is cell programmed cell death. So that donated satellite cell maintains that strength. And if there is atrophy, your body is able to recover a little bit quicker because of that donated genetic uh, coding. So satellite cells are incredibly beneficial. They're a stem cell. They're one of the most important parts behind strength training. And I believe that as we age and as we get older, we have to have a firm understanding of how we can tap into the, that reservoir and, and, and get them out of that quiescent state so that we can constantly regenerate and constantly get a little bit stronger and feel healthier. And ultimately, the more muscle mass we have, the longer we will live. So that's the basis behind satellite cells. If you want more information, click on the link down below. You can check out the blog on satellite cells that I have on my website, www.garagestrength.com. Go check it out. Peace.